what's up guys, it's Dima Sniped or Minecraft Builder 92 here and today I kind of have a special video for you guys because I get this question quite a bit about when I upload like those how to build a city series I see comments about I have problems with making the buildings myself and coming up with design and I kind of want to show you guys how easy it can be so I want you to get a look at all of these buildings and basically look at it and tell me what you think is the same I mean I'll tell you guys here in a second but let's take a look at all these because there is a certain pattern that you might recognize here and it actually should be pretty simple because I want you to see how easy it really is to come up with new designs using designs you've used before. So basically all these buildings here, all the windows are three wide. Now basically I'm just trying to get you the idea that you can use the same design over and over again but make it look different. And that's what I'm trying to get to you here. So basically what I'm trying to get to you here is so all of these windows are three wide but if you look there they all have a different design and that's the thing that you kind of have to use when you're making a building whether it's you know this one has upside down stairs with anvils and then upside or just regular stairs on top of that and then so that's one design for windows to separate the floors this one just has upside down stairs with stairs on top of the upside down stairs with uh, another brick fence for you know some extra detail this one here just uses carpet to kind of, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go time set zero. I mean, so this one just uses carpet to kind of separate the windows using white wool as well in between the carpet, which also gives you a nice little design. This one uses stone brick stairs and slabs to kind of give it a unique design that extrudes out a little bit farther from all the other ones. I did kind of mess up when I was just working on the interior to this one it's supposed to be like a storage unit building for a city but also using the cobblestone walls here as well to kind of give it that extra extra design look uh, and feature to it this one here so basically this brown one here is the exact same building as this one here but you might notice there is one big difference so I'm trying to show you here that just changing up one thing can make a entirely new building I added this big window here in the middle to kind of separate from the three wide windows all over the place and just having that one big window changes the entire character of the building. And then same for this one. And you know, basically all these are the exact same design with the same pillars going up and down. But if you look, they all have different designs. This one has upside down stairs with a regular stair and upside down stair to kind of give it that unique design to it. And so what I'm trying to get to you guys here is it actually it's pretty easy to make skyscrapers or just buildings in general. Whether it's you add different turns and features to it that you didn't do on the previous one. Because I understand that you don't want to keep using the same design over and over again. And that's when it gets hard for people to come up with different designs. And so I kind of want to show you guys how easy it can be just by changing up a couple of small details that can make a building look completely different. Whether it's the material that you changed, whether it's the pattern that you did it in. You know, there's so many endless possibilities to it because like if I did this, so let me take this out real quick and I just go boop, we'll copy all the way up to right here, okay? So if I go copy, so again, remember that all these are three wide, okay? So we're going to copy that and if I just make this one right here, right? So if we go paste, so if you look, now basically this adds a little bit more design to it. Obviously I didn't, you know, take the time to get every single detail in here. But just adding like some smaller parts of the building so it's not just a flat surface going all the way up. You might have a couple different turns, things that stick out from the building further than others. So there really is a endless possibility, but I'm trying to show you guys here that you can make your own designs by the things you've used before. Now it doesn't just have to be with three wide windows, you can do this with any design, like two wide windows for example, uh, five wide, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to show you guys that just changing up a couple things can give you a entirely new building because I even like some of these and I'm gonna recreate some of these on my cities, but just how simple they are, even though they're all based on the same structure and the same design, again, this, the small details really change how it looks, whether it's the color of the building, whether it's the materials I used, the different designs that kind of change up one scheme from the other. So like I said, I'm just trying to kind of give you guys some inspiration for yourselves to realize that you can do it. You just have to look at it some other ways. 
So hopefully this video kind of helped you guys out. I hope you guys liked it. So thank you very much for watching guys. It is greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Because I definitely don't mind doing them for you guys because I like helping you guys out. So bye bye guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to all you guys later. Bye bye.